How do we differentiate natural log of natural log of natural log of x? In my previous video, we have discussed on how to take the derivative of ln x, as well as the derivative of ln of ln x. But now, here's the question. What is the derivative of ln of ln of ln x? Don't be afraid by these repeating natural logs, let us find for the solution together. I guess most of you must have already known that this is a composite function. In case that you do not know about this, let me briefly explain it. Suppose that we have the natural log of x. But you see what we have now for the terms inside the brackets is the natural log of natural log of x, which is nested inside the natural log, and that's the reason it is a composite function. Therefore, we apply the chain rule in order to find the derivative of a composite function. By applying the chain rule, we first start by taking the derivative of this whole thing. Suppose that we have ln x and the derivative of it is 1 over x. But for now, notice that we have ln of ln x inside the brackets, so we will be getting 1 over ln of ln x. You may check out the video above or in description if you wanted to learn more about the chain rule. According to the chain rule, we then multiply it by the derivative of the inner function. In this case, we multiply it by the derivative of ln of ln x, which is exactly what we have discussed in my previous video, in which we got 1 over x multiplied by ln x for the derivative. You may check out the video above or in description if you wanted to learn more about this. But of course, I'll be briefly explaining it for now. Well, you see this is also a composite function in which we have ln x nested inside the brackets. As such, we apply the chain rule one more time to find the derivative of this. The same thing is applied here in this case. We knew that the derivative of ln x is 1 over x. As now we have ln of ln x instead, so we will be getting 1 over ln x in this case. Then, we multiply by the derivative of the inner function, ln x, in which we will be getting 1 over x. Multiply these two terms together, and we have found the derivative of ln of ln x. All we have to do now is to multiply these two terms. By multiplying it, in the denominator, we end up with x multiplied by ln x, multiplied by ln of ln x. Congratulations! We have just discovered the derivative of the natural log of natural log of natural log of x. Drop a comment below if you are struggling with any part of the calculations. I spend hours making videos explaining math topics, and all I ask for in return is simply to hit the like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video.